Uh, I don't have many wall switches, um, but the ones I do, I did move over to Zigbee. Yeah, I think I had two, uh, one for my mm-hmm. 3D printer and one for an actual printer. Yep. Right, How right, right. many Zigbee devices do you have on your network, just out of curiosity? Oh, that's a good question. Um, let me have a look. 18 currently. 18? 18. Okay, cool. I, um, I, I have 63, I think. <laughs> Um and is that on one I, hub or is that on multiple? So that's on one hub. Um and that's doing um it's from a combi USB stick that's plugged directly into Home Assistant. Mm-hmm. Um and I'm just gonna confirm that I have sorry, sixty-four devices, my apologies. Um I am having issues with my ZB at the moment because I have so many devices. Um, yeah. For whatever reason, like random devices will just be marked as unavailable um, and I'll have to go and repair them, um, which is really frustrating. Um, they'll just work and then all of a sudden it's as if they just drop off, they go get marked as unavailable. I've got many of Philips Hue Bulb, many, uh, I've got an IKEA signal repeater. So I've got enough routers on the ZB network to, have like to support that number of devices. It's just so frustrating. Um, and I know this isn't it, just a an isolated issue. It's not a fill issue. I've seen other people on Twitter comment on you know like this. You know, happens to me all the time too. So yeah, yeah, yeah it's so. Well, I think it's they typically say like sixty four is the upper limit, right? Yeah, like, usually. Have I reached that limit? Maybe okay. I'll have to do some googling. But I, I don't feel, know. That's, yeah. that's what I keep hearing. But might be worth just sticking another hub in somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to avoid that. I used to have yeah. uh, three running at one point. Um, oh, wow. I had, yeah, multiple instances of Zigbee to MQTT running. I had uh, my house split in like half, you know, one Zigbee controller at one end, the other at the other end. It just then becomes a nightmare of, you know, when there this might happens. Be some, there might be some tuning you can do too. I don't know. Like just uh, check if there's any i guess if there's any like noise like how much noise there is and such right because i mean mm. i don't know if you custom set your channels like, and stuff like that but yeah I've, I've done all that i've done the usb extension cable um yeah yeah I've, i don't know i don't know what the issue I'm, is. I'm having the same issue with one of my devices but it's a really basic son off uh, door sensor that i just i'm, I'm assuming mm-hmm. it's just uh, i've had it for five years and i just thought well it's probably just broke at this point but it's yeah cheap to replace and if it does happen again, then I know there's an issue, but yeah, yeah just yeah. one, yeah, that's one little device on my, on my network that's happened with. Might be a range thing too, right? Depending on. Yeah, it could be. Um, and I guess depending if your house is built with concrete or drywall, whatever, right? 